We are in uncharted territory. That's the ominous warning from the World Health Organization as we face a likely pandemic of coronavirus. Hello, I'm Angela Cox. Welcome to this special edition of the latest on Facebook Watch, Outbreak, the Coronavirus Crisis. These extraordinary pictures below me are of Chinese authorities attempting to halt the spread of this deadly disease. Let's take it full screen. Giant trucks roll down empty streets, pumping out plumes of chemicals believed to be a bleach solution. While experts are warning all of us across the world not to panic, it's difficult to stay calm with images like that and as the death toll continues to rise. But to bust some of the myths about the virus, we spoke with infectious diseases specialist, Professor Senjaya Senanayake. Firstly, face masks will protect you from coronavirus. True or false? True if in hospital and seeing patients with healthcare workers and wearing your personal protective equipment or at home looking after a sick relative. False if you're talking about just walking into the community. Antibiotics will treat the virus, true or false? False. Antibiotics treat bacteria, not viruses. True or false, can you get coronavirus from a package or letter delivered from China? False. You will not. Pets can spread coronavirus, true or false? False, but I will add this, that uh, in Hong Kong, a person with coronavirus in Hong Kong who had a dog in her apartment has had the dog tested and the dog has tested positive but we don't actually know if that means that the dog's infected or just uh, licked uh, a surface with some coronavirus on it. This statement, heat kills the coronavirus, true or false? True, if it's like other coronaviruses we know that uh, cooking temperatures about 70 degrees Celsius will kill coronaviruses. And finally, people should avoid big crowds, going to school or travelling on public transport. At this moment, no, but there may come a time as this outbreak gets bigger that the government will advise us to do that. Now, let's take you inside ground zero for coronavirus. It was late last year that the coronavirus emerged in the Chinese city of Wuhan specifically at what's called a wet market, where people can buy all sorts of animals for consumption. It's believed a bat infected a pangolin, a type of mammal, which was then sold at the market. New York Times Beijing Bureau Chief Stephen Lee Myers is here for you. You often in these markets will see, um, you know, live fish, live crabs and so forth. But in some of these uh, markets around China, especially in southern China, you'll see turtles, uh, you'll see chickens and other poultry uh, that are alive. And then you'll see in, in some cases more exotic animals, uh, even badgers, civets, which is a cat like creature. Um, and, and, and pangolins, uh, which are rare because they're an endangered species, uh, they're rarely sold openly. Uh, and we don't know yet if that was the case, if they were being sold there. Um, but, uh, but they suspect that the pangolin might have been the carrier that transmitted this to people. So does the government just turn a blind eye to these markets? You know, the fact is, is the government um, does regulate um, 54, I believe, uh, different creatures um, that you're allowed to both hunt um, and and sit and sell. When the crisis spread, um, they closed all these markets. They've announced that they're going to look at the regulations. They're going to try to um, um, regulate the sale of wildlife. Well, hopefully those measures have an impact to stop the future spread of such vicious diseases. And with so many statistics filling our news feeds each day, it's important to remember the innocent souls who make up those numbers. They're much more than a death toll. They're fathers, sons, mothers and daughters and friends, all taken way too soon by this insidious virus.